The first case I had as a guardian ad litem involved two young boys that were 10 years old and 8 years old. The mother was living with an untreated sex offender and that's what brought her into the child protection arena. We developed uh, a case plan for her because she was also subject to physical abuse by the person that she lived with that included taking domestic violence training, parenting training, moving out of the same residence as the individual involved, and showing that she had the capability to provide for a, a safe and nurturing environment for her sons. The first time I went into foster care, I was around three or four, but then my mom was able to get us back, and then when I was 16, it was when I went back into foster care. It wasn't until I was 16 that I had came forward about the abuse. All of us in the child protection system, we have the unfortunate place to be staring directly into all kinds of um, suffering and tragedy. But there are occasions where when we can see a, a mother who's quite relieved, having pulled her life back together, and every now and then we do an adoption too, where you see some children walk out with uh, permanent caretakers in place that they know and love and trust. Those things are what make it all worthwhile. The term CASA is an acronym which stands for Court Appointed Special Advocates. And in Minnesota, that term is synonymous with what we refer to as guardian ad litem or GAL. Volunteers really bring a vitality to the child protection system, and it's a system that is stretched to its outermost limits. Social workers are dealing with ever-increasing caseloads. They have so many details to manage on a day-to-day -day basis that it's easy for them to overlook the child's needs, and certainly not um, through any fault of their own. It's just due to the complexity of the cases themselves. So guardians ad litem bring value to the court system and by really being the voice for that child and to making sure that their needs needs are addressed. The very first thing I did was really to read over the case file that I received, make sure I understood all the details, and take a few moments to discuss the details with my case manager. And following that, I reached out to all of the individuals who were identified in the information I was initially provided. And then the most important step, I got to meet the child. Um, and following meeting the child, I was able to meet his mother as well and do an interview to understand how they got to this point to understand their family history, family traditions, anything that would really impact this case and the, the best interests of the child ultimately. Reports of child abuse and neglect have increased dramatically in recent years and the result of that is more children and more families are brought before the court on allegations of abuse and neglect and that has meant more and more need for advocates and the need is great. We simply can't bring on enough volunteers and train them quickly enough to meet the need that we're experiencing. And these children are before the court under very serious and dire circumstances and they need advocacy. They need adults in the community who care about them, about their future, about the community that they live in that are willing to speak up and be that voice and to make recommendations using common sense judgment and putting together a plan and aligning resources that they believe would help that child ultimately be safe in their home setting. I was attracted to being a guardian ad litem because I'm an adoptee and although my story is very different than the cases that I've gotten to work, um, children's rights and, and giving kids a voice and making sure children have permanency in the family has always been something I've been very interested in, especially since I was given that gift um, as a young child. Being a volunteer guardian ad litem has had a really really profound impact on me personally. It's allowed me to get outside of my comfort zone, my daily life, and to really grow and develop myself as I try to help kids grow and develop and make sure that they have all those resources. Mm -hmm.